YouTube. It's another beautiful day here at Viking Landscape Tree Services. Pest control and all, all your landscaping needs. Um, beautiful morning today. 55. Just pulled up to the shop. Today, we're going to be removing a black olive and a couple other trees and doing some work, you know what I mean? So, I hope you all enjoy the video. Alright YouTube, let me give you the rundown today. So, we're at a client's house and we're going to be dealing with some things that I don't really like and I don't believe in is hat racking trees, but we're in West Palm Beach today and you can do that here. Um, so, that's your hat rack tree. That's another hat rack tree. They want me to trim this this Washingtonian palm with these cabbage palms at the bottom here, fan palms. A um, couple different names for them, but that's a Washingtonian, and that's, I guess, your sable palms, fan palms, it's somewhere in that, that nature. And then, I'm gonna walk back here. Back here, we're gonna remove this areca cluster and then we're also going to remove this black olive here another hat racked deal and, and you're probably like what's he talking about hat rack look at that I showed in in one video I'll show it closer when I get up there too it's just bad we're going to trim up these queen palms And we're also going to get rid of this cluster as well. Oh, cable, cable boxes. My favorite, especially when you Let's get this party started. This thing's, this thing's gotta be, I think so. I think got a little bit more. This thing, this, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna trim it today. So what you probably got going on here YouTube is a, a little Ganodermit it's called. It's called the disease that attacks palm trees and uh, yeah it's no good you gotta treat the thing but I mean it does have uh, you know a new stem coming out of the top. This one's growing it's still green so if they get it treated by a pest control company they'll probably contact us and have us come out here and treat it we could probably save it but they gotta get they gotta get on they gotta get on board and they gotta get on board quick so let's finish up trimming it actually it's not a sable palm because right here you can tell right above right on there there's those little spikes and these are I believe Japs Japanese fan palms we're gonna Clean up the head on this and make it looking right again. Uh, get all the seeds out of here and clean up a couple branches and make it look good. Purdy. Now, YouTube, I want to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about with that Ganodermit. A healthy palm tree that's not affected by the disease should definitely, the main leader coming out of the stem should look like that. Not the way I'm gonna show you in this clip real quick. It should look like this. Not what I just showed you in the clip. Is that a Nathan? That's, That's a Nathan. Washy up there. That's all. Got that Ganoderm.
Epic today, Junior! Now guys, this is why you don't have that. So what they did here is they cut it off at the limb there. Then you had two co-dominant leaders pop out. Then they chopped it off again. And now you have 15, 20 limbs coming out of a damaged limb. So you get one good storm. We're here in South Florida. You get one good storm and that thing gets heavy. Say goodbye to this guy's screen enclosure. Keep hearing me say hat rack, hat rack, hat rack. That's what you look like when you hat rack something. All right, big ball of just tangled up stuff. So came in here, and hopefully these people will continuously call us back. Lightened it up a little. Lightened it up a little bit. You only can take out so much. You can't take, like I would love to take more, but you don't want to hurt the tree. So here's my cuts. All right, a couple cuts that I made. Got some of those. Pack your limbs out of there, right? And hopefully they'll close up and they'll become a healthy tree again. I doubt it, but eventually this tree will wanna, you'd wanna remove it, but. They don't want to do that right now. They want to trim them up, so I'm trimming them up. And this is what you get when you trim up a hack rack tree. YouTube so we talked them into taking it down so, take it down grind it up see you later Oh! <laughs> 
Hi right, YouTube. So, like I was saying earlier, we talked him into to taking it down. And I had a real nice shot of the falling, but somebody didn't record it, of course. His name's Warren. But we got rid of that black olive that was all hat racked. We're gonna keep this one here. Hopefully we can get it back to normal again. We removed that Eureka cluster, threw some sod over it. Sorry I'm rushing through this, but I gotta I gotta get going here. Got another job to do. Cleaned out the bottoms here of all invasive species at these elephant ears. The bottom here. Then we cleaned up the queen palms. Alright. We removed that black olive that was hanging up and sitting down here. And we removed those two areca stumps. Put some sod over them. Trimmed up the Washingtonian palm that has the Ganodermit. And then we got some Japanese fan palms there. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Excuse my, my workers there. They're speaking the Creole. But, uh, yeah, feel free. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Whatever you need. All your landscape needs. Landscape design, lawn maintenance, stump grinding, tree trimming, tree removal, and also pest control. Let me know. 954-857-4571. Thank you and have a nice day.